when information is in the hands of just a few, you're at their mercy. You play by their rules. Let's take a look. I think you were starting to get into it as to why JFK had to be eliminated. If you can start there. Okay. Right. I want to say that we are doing, over the next 12 months, there's going to be all kinds of specials, I assume, about the JFK assassination because it's the magic half-century number, 50th anniversary. They used to do the 25th anniversary, the 30th, the 40th. They're going to be doing something this year a lot, and we are the first to do it, and this information on our sh your show will be the best. Okay, so I'm explaining why JFK is suicidal. Why is he depressed? Why does he want to die? He's got the familial pressures, got a problem with Jackie, and now he says, well, at least can I do a Lincoln maneuver, Abraham Lincoln, and, and bring the greenback power back, you know, or to uh, get rid of this lockdown economy involved with international uh, puffery that he felt, he may not have been right, because the economy might have had to go that way anyways when he got international computer conditions. But anyway, he said, I'm going to fix this thing. And when he found out that there was no America to fix, it was owned by China, this was an incredible shock to him. He realized he was living in a hologram or some kind of virtual reality, and, and Americans didn't know it. To the degree that economic power is important. It's not important. It didn't stop the Beatles. It didn't stop Zap. It didn't stop rock and roll and Tim Leary and LSD and everything that happened, all the great stuff in the popular culture, right? You can't stop that. So, you know, what is power? What did China really control? Well, I don't know. You know, it's pretty vague. But when you move to levels of power that Obama thinks he has, you have to think on that historical level, and you come up with these conundrums. How do we fix the economy? Well, it's not our economy anymore. It's China's. So when he realized that he couldn't even accomplish a heroic Abraham Lincoln maneuver, you know, he was guilty for what he'd done to get to that position, including uh, offing Marilyn Monroe. So here he is trying to redeem himself, and he can't do it. It's impossible. That will depress a person. That will make them think, it's just like, it's like the, the Coppola movie, The Godfather. It's high, the high winds of tragedy. You know what I mean? It's just too much for humans to take. And uh, so he just went into a suicidal thing, set up the mental attitude, the emotional attitude, the vibration, the frequency to get to leave. He also had terrible back pain, yes. all kinds of problems, just no fun to be alive. And so because he set that personal momentum, other factions who would prefer him not to be around for their personal ambitions said, okay, let's get this guy. And they, I don't think they're aware that he is receptive to being killed. They're just going to uh, uh, do the dirty deed. other reasons to do it. Right. And this is what Ion tells us, is the non-physical of all of us is communicating among ourselves, you know, all seven billion of us, and calculating these things. So when I'm, wa so when I'm watching Eben get stuck in the uh, traffic before she gets here, that could be Eben's own non-physical trying to decide, saying, I know what Bob's going to do tonight, I don't know if I want to be part of this. I think I'll get in a little accident here so I don't make it. But the other part of your non-physical overrode that. And you got here. So you see my point, my metaphor is that the non-physical is communicating on levels or uh, scenarios that you physically aren't manifesting. Not but obvious. Not obvious, but they, but, but somehow, um, yeah, somehow there's, there's, uh, there's a bit of a manifestation there going on in, in weird little things that happen. So the point is, is that the, the ion is saying that the guys who wanted to kill Kennedy, their non-physical knew that he had decided to go and was waiting for someone to off him. So he'd have an excuse so it didn't look like he committed suicide. That's the dialogue among the non-physicals. But Hoover, Hoover's not thinking that. His, his chemical body's saying, this guy's going to get rid of me and I can't be gotten rid of. We might see further upside appreciation in gold as a result of some of the upheaval we're seeing in as you said, in, in the debt situation, in the banking situation, and so on and so forth. Grand Hotel, Red Dust, and the unforgettable Mutiny on the Bounty.